And welcome back guys, we're going to be playing some more Starfield. Make sure to like button, make sure to subscribe button. Let's get back into it. So, next mission we're going to do is going to be Divided Loyalties. Let's get into it. He is not here. I am disappointed, but relieved somehow? Yes, but now I feel guilty for being relieved. Ugh. Why must this all be so complicated? Someone here must know more. We should inquire about him. If you're here about the blood stain, I'll get to it. I'm busy. Leave me alone. You. You ain't here looking for Aaron. She is. Hello, Aggie. I was unsure whether you would remember me. It has been a long time. I ain't likely to forget you anytime soon. Don't try to play tough with me. I ain't got the time or the patience for it. She didn't ruin Aaron's life enough the first time, huh? Back for more? Ruined his life? How dare you? Did she tell you what she did to him? How she left him bleeding on some godforsaken rock in the middle of nowhere? No. Were you there? Aaron told this story so many damn times over the years, I feel like it sure as hell was. Aaron sat in that corner for years, scared of his own shadow, convinced the damned zealots were coming back to finish the job. The few credits he had to rub together that didn't get spent on drink, he spent on setting himself up someplace where they couldn't find him. Wouldn't trust anyone that walked through the door. Only ever talked to me when he was drunk enough. Look, I've seen all kinds of sad sacks over the years. Most of them brought it on themselves. He was no different. Got himself in over his head, mixed up in something he shouldn't have been. Still, not pretty to watch the slide down afterwards. Aaron ain't been in here for almost a year now. Showed up one day saying he'd gone and got himself set up on Hyla too, thanking me for letting him stay here so often. It was the closest I'd seen him to happy in I don't know how long. And that was it. Never came through the door again. Did he ever mention me? You mean, did he blame you? That's what you want to know. I know guilt when I see it. Don't try and deny it. Fine. Did he blame me? 
No. Believed you were one of the good ones, right up until the last time I talked to him. Me? <laughs> I don't think your kind has good ones. My kind? I know what you are. You take your holier-than-thou bullshit and your great serpent and shove them. You dare insult me like this when I have come to you asking for help. I should kill you where you stand. Fine. Fine. Let us leave this place at once. Well, this has been so much fun. You see Aaron, you tell him I got a bottle of his favorite stashed away if he ever shows up again. But honestly, I'm hoping he doesn't. We have something to go on, at least. I am grateful get that, inventory that you showed some compassion. Sure did. Despite that woman's that attitude. Yes, ma'am. I do not have your patience. More reliable than my last bartender. That's because rumor has it, And yet it is my side. past I'm we are trying to clear part up. Part. That <laughs> is People believing everything you hear about me, Nash. Most of it, sure. It means a lot. That much. I'm eager to well, reach Hyla here, too and speak something. to Aaron. I ain't the best at expressing Perhaps there is something we can do to help him. It really means a lot. Provide him Give a sense chance. of safety. Thank you for that. Well, you've proved your worth, so I might even let we you stick around speak again. for a while. I am as long sure. as you don't go getting too mushy over that.
We should be on our guard here. If we could detect the camp from orbit, it means others could too. And I have no idea what fortifications he may have. When we arrive, would you let me speak to him first? I think that is important right now. Thank you. Let us see what wonders of life this planet hosts. Always worth checking. Never know what you might find in their pockets.
I, I thought I saw something. I need to be sure. I don't know what to say. I thought there would be a chance to speak to him. To, to make amends. Or at least to hear him curse me for leaving him. I was prepared to accept that. I did not think I would find him like this. At least these vermin didn't get him. He's been gone for... Well, clearly it's been some time. Look around. There will be correspondence from Jada Wong, I am sure of it. This cannot all be for me. Or nothing. found something. Please, let me see it. <gasps> I should have guessed. Jada was always the one to run towards trouble. Of course she would still be doing it now. In her own way. She has been for as long as I have known her. Jada was younger than some of the other smugglers we contracted. There was concern she would be unreliable. As time went on, we called on her more and more often, eventually relying on her almost exclusively. She was sharp, a skilled pilot and very, very determined. Always talking about her big plans for retirement, how she would live like a queen. I am not surprised that she would desire revenge, but to go this far, we need to find her. But before we go, I have discovered something else. And I do not know what to make of it. Aaron was composing a reply to Jada, but never sent it. It reads as if he was expecting the Zealots to find him. That they knew where to look for him. And yet, we found them here searching for him. How did they know? What bothers me, though, is that he mentions a name he should not know. Tommy Sarkadik. Nor should you. For all of my assignments in the Settled Systems, Tommy Sar has been my link to House Baroon. From him, I have received my orders. And he is the person to whom I have reported my success. He does not work with anyone outside House Baroon. And I am the only one who knows how and where to find him. Aaron should never have heard of him. It is hardly that simple. We must first make sure that Jada is safe. 
And perhaps she will be able to shed light on this. Let us head for the den. of service. Certainly. If you're ever in New Atlantis, mind putting in a good word for me? I... Messages to SS and Anna getting through. I really did think this place. If there's was anything I can do for you, certainly. May the trick. I hope we have what you.
You know, if you go out there with no helmet on, your head will totally explode. True story. Good to was there something you you won't find a better How, if there's anything I can... Certainly. May I be of service? Good to see you. By all means.
It's a little surprising, isn't it? Out here on the edge of UC space. But it's just Was so there something you need? Quiet. By all means. I know we're not a priority for the Vanguard or the UC, but it's still space worth protecting. Haven't seen you around here before. Welcome to the den. Reyna Marquez. I head up the Vanguard station here. If you've got business with the Vanguard, I hope you ran it through Mast first. If not, you probably made a long jump for nothing. Huang? Really? There are at least... Three other pilots based out of here, I'd expect to receive complaints about first. Before we get started, I have to inform you there's a formal review process for the Vanguard, so don't expect any action for a while, okay? Now, what is the nature of your complaint? Oh. Oh! Okay. Uh, sorry. Force of habit, I suppose. Jada isn't here. Hasn't been here in a while. In fact, she's... Well, she's following up on some sensitive information. Um, uh, I'm not sure I should disclose any more than that. It's not something I can just blurt out. I hear you, but it doesn't change anything. Look, I'd like to help, but... I don't care how bad... The safety of my pilots has to come before anything... Vanguard's here! surprising, isn't it? Out here on the edge of UC space. It's just so quiet. How may the tr You won't find a better- If you see anything unusual or haven't seen you, if you've got this, Huang, before we get started, now, what is the? Okay, as long as there's no problem. Jada isn't here, hasn't been. Um, uh. Don't really see how that. Huang? Really? Before we get started. Now. What? Oh. Jada isn't here. Um. Uh. Then I'd probably just be wondering how you have any information at all. And I might even be more concerned about your intentions. It's not something I can just blurt out. Maybe I can make an exception. I'm glad you understand the position I'm in here. I suppose it's not the end of the world. Jada came in a bit ago, all fired up over some hot lead. She's been focused on zealots ever since she was assigned here, but this was a whole other level. She was headed out to Groombridge to track them down. Never seen her so fixated. 
And if you know Jada, that's saying something. If you're headed out that way, be careful. Wouldn't surprise me if she's getting into all kinds of trouble. Oh, gosh, no. Vanguard wasn't even a thought back when this place was first built. The den, the original den, mind you, got blown up during the Serpent's Crusade. UC Navy immediately rebuilt the station, I think largely out of spite. Sometimes I think that's why they keep it operational, too. Certainly hasn't had much real purpose since the Colony War ended. I'm glad we have it as a post, and Mark, don't think it ever... Fly safe! Ship's clear. It's just us among the stars again, Captain.
publicly show your face! I am glad to see that you are safe, Jada. I am sorry if... if this is difficult for you. Difficult? Are you serious right now? You set us up, killed my friends, and then a decade later you show up like nothing happened? Have you lost your mind? Set you up? I... I never... I was not behind that. It was zealots, you know that. We were all attacked. Don't bullshit me. Not now. And who the hell are you? Her backup dancer? Hey, I'm calm. You calm? Great. What are you doing here with her? You don't look like Varun to me. Yeah. Differences, though? I haven't been working with them. She has. I would never! You know, for a while I told myself it was a coincidence that you disappeared once the shooting started. That you were long gone when the dust settled. <laughs> told myself, no, it couldn't possibly be her. Not after all those years we spent working together. We're friends. So I went after the Zealots. And then I found out the truth. Your damned High Council. They knew. Told the Zealots where to find us. That's not true. That cannot be true. Oh, it is. How? How do you know this? If you have proof, I need to see it right now. You don't get to demand anything of me, Andreja. I know what I've seen! don't have... It doesn't work like that. I've put things together over the years. Slates, communications, interrogations. A name, Jada. Give me a name. You must have heard one by now. Thomasar! Thomasar Kadik! That's the bastard from the High Council who's been helping the Zealots! And did you hear this from Aaron? Aaron? What? No! I haven't talked to him in a year. What do you know about it? Jada, I swear on the serpent himself, I would never betray you. I need time to make this right. Can we go somewhere and talk? I am not giving up on this. I've tracked them this far, and I'm going to see this through. You want your proof? Well, they have it. The two of you have got a lot of goddamn nerve. That's him! That's the bastard responsible for the ambush! If you're not lying to me, then you better help me take him down! Otherwise, I'll just have to destroy you both! Get back to your ship! Will we be taking off immediately, or are there other matters that require your attention? Betrayed the charge laid upon them by the Great Serpent, gave you over to us to atone for this. It always hurts me that you escaped the fate you deserved. Indicators agree. Now you're free. The Serpent sets my mind at peace. And in his name, I
Excusez-moi. I... I do not understand. It cannot be possible that the High Council would betray us like that. He must have been lying. Zealots have interpreted the teachings of Jinan Varun in the most hostile way possible, and are convinced they are the only true followers of the Great Serpent. They have always been certain in their beliefs and actions. Does not make them correct. Something about this does does not feel right. This message. The code at the bottom. I have seen this before. I know where we need to go. I must explain. House Barun values secrecy above nearly all else. Those of us sent out into the settled systems, we cannot return. Maybe not forever, but certainly until our mission has been accomplished. When we are assigned a mission, we are taken to a point outside of House Varun's domain. We do not jump ourselves. We are never given the coordinates for Varun Kai, our homeworld. We literally cannot return. Only a select few are ever trusted with that knowledge. I can never go home. Unless I am permitted. It has been deemed necessary for the protection of House Varun. And for generations, it has worked. Who am I to question it? But there is something I can do. I cannot travel to my home, but I can reach out another way. But it means putting you in danger in a way you have not been before. I cannot say for certain what will happen. And we have survived this, yes, but... What comes next is different. I just want to make that clear. There is an old derelict star station where I may get answers. I know that seems... vague. It will become clear when we arrive.
All right, follow me. I will say again, there is danger for you here, likely for us both. Excellent place to hide in plain sight. Before we go any further, I cannot stress this enough. Keep your weapons at your side. Do not make any sudden moves. Do nothing to appear hostile. Then I hope for your sake your judgment is sound. Please give me a moment. One who needs to explain himself, Tommy Sar.
my friends who tried to murder me. You must be mistaken, or perhaps confused. Nothing like that has ever happened. Enough! I have the transcripts, Tony son. You did this. You told them where to find us. Now, let's just take a moment. No one wants to make accusations they might regret. You. You are from that constellation group. I've heard all about you. You have turned her against me, filled her head with lies. This will not be allowed to stand. You know nothing of it! I said enough! This is between you and me. This has gone far enough. Talk some sense into her at once. Neither of you would dare lift a finger against me. Against House Varun. But I am. If you let Andreja hurt me, I am her only link to the High Council. To House Varun. Without me. She can never return home. You must make her listen to reason. He is responsible. He deserves to die. Did you not hear me? You do this, you lose everything! I heard you. I know what it costs me. But... He deserves it. Does he not? He gave my friends to the Zealots. Might as well have killed them himself. How does that not warrant justice? The only thing keeping him alive right now is... I know that if I do this... I lose my home. Probably forever. I do not... I do not know what to do. So be it. Winner takes all these diff rays, is it not? It is good to see justice done. But... It should have been at my hand, not yours. Thank you seems inappropriate, given what you have done. But I do not know what else to say. For now, I suppose, this matter is done. I do not know if I will face punishment, either in this life or the next. I am so tired. Can we, at least for the moment, Return to the lodge. Andresia! Andresia! 
I've got the perfect plan this time, I promise. From our previous interactions, I can only assume this is released. Frustrating. Let's go. We're going to listen to some old Earth music. that would be friendly. My name is my name, and it should not be altered without my permission. You know, I hadn't thought about it that way, but that's entirely fair. Did you have a question for me, or did you just want to attempt to say my name? I just wanted to check in with you and make sure all was well. I appreciate that. All is well. to be where we left it. I understand this station was once I hope we have the luxury.
is placeful. You seem... coming from Sam all right well let's see what she says the freestyle Rangers you did that dirty work and then some so how'd you feel wearing the badge well good on you it takes a certain type of person to thrive there me I never cared much for being a Ranger too many of them try to force the world to be only black and white when it's anything but take Ron Hope I mean the guy's a legend before him, Polvo was a desperate, depressing place. Everything he did was to keep his people employed, to keep Hope Tech standing in a backstabbing world of megacorp politics. Not many of us can create something like he did. Tough call on what to do with Ron Hope. As much fun as it is being a ranger, I hope you can start focusing on constellation business. There's plenty of mysteries left in the good old Milky Way to discover. Hey! You have a second? Sam and I were just having a, uh, discussion, and I wanted someone else's input. I think it's more accurate to say that you and I have now both been cornered, but sure. I'd like to, you know, get in shape, do some working out. So I asked Vladimir for some tips, and he basically said weightlifting was a bad idea. Are you sure that's what he said, or is it just what you heard? Anyway, so I wanted to get Sam's opinion on it, and he pretty much said the same thing. Okay, since now you've been fully roped into this, let's all just take a step back. I had simply pointed out that if you take a look at Mateo, weightlifting isn't necessarily the first thing that comes to mind. I was wondering whether there might be a better option for him, and just sort of musing in general about the idea of sticking to things you're inclined to, versus going out and trying something completely new. Well, what's your take on it? You think it's better to stick to what you know, or to take any opportunity to try something that's maybe outside your comfort zone? I feel like maybe you dodged the question there, but okay. Also, I bet you 10 credits Vlad said something similar. Of course I'd be careful. Anyway, thanks. I think I'm gonna try it. And don't worry, I'll be sure and ask Vladimir for pointers. Yeah, I know. Thanks. And maybe, if I need a spotter... It is a good day, yes? Thank you for coming back here with me. I fear that... After all that has happened, I am unsure of my place in House Varun. 
this room may now be the only place I have left to call home. Yes, <laughs> I know that I am not completely alone. And that offers some comfort, but it is more complicated than that. I do not know how to live without some connection to House Varun. The Great Serpent has always been a guiding force in my life. The force that drives all that I do. What... What if I have lost that? I am unsure it is that simple. But you are right. I do have people here who care about me. Chief among them, it seems, is you. You have been by my side through all of this. The most turbulent time in my life. And you have supported me, faithfully. I have never been able to count on any single person the way I have with you. If I am repeating myself, you will have to forgive me. I just... I cannot overstate what it means to me. <laughs> I have never had a best friend, but... I believe that sounds right. We are to be best friends, then I shall do everything I can to be there for you, in the way that you have for me. How can I sit here feeling sorry for myself when there is so much for us to do? Paid. I spread the new. You certainly get around. I'm surprised that branch has any customers left the number of times it's been held up. But I thought the Rangers had finally managed to get a handle on it. I heard there was a standoff. That true? I'd say I'm surprised, but this is my total lack of surprise face. What happened to the robbers? The Shaw Gang? Wait, what? You cleaned them out? <laughs> Jesus. I'm sorry, but I might have to dig up some witnesses to confirm that. Anyway, these things are often... messy. Any customers or Galbank staff get hurt? That's really good news. Usually... well, it's... A different kind of story. You were there. You were involved in resolving it. Any comment on the Freestar Rangers? Having another high-profile robbery in their own backyard is a bit of a black eye. Huh. That's really good to know. Stories like this always fire up public outrage and appetite. Thanks for the interview. And take this. Source is back. Here to report anything else? Of course you are. Why wouldn't you be? I swear you're either a trouble magnet or something. So, Sista finally, and against all odds, really triumphed against the Crimson Fleet. In their own backyard, no less. How were you involved? So 
But what do you do for an encore? <laughs> so, the Vigilance went toe-to-toe -to -toe with everything the Crimson Fleet could throw at them. And somehow, almost miraculously, they captured the key. The key itself. I've confirmed that with many sources. Anything to add? Really? Hmm, I might have to fact check that. You have to feel good. Commander Ikande is being hailed a hero. Your thoughts? Hmm, the UC did kind of spawn this monster. And like you said, it might finally be dealt with. And that's all I need. You and as a well. Just so everyone's on the same page. Regarding the Crimson Fleet quest that pops up for some users, mine didn't pop up at all. It says that it's complete, but I never actually done the mission as far as I know of. So, it was a bug in the game, which supposedly is fixed now, but still wasn't too happy about that. <laughs> Just so you're looped into what happened there. Why we haven't done any Crimson Fleet missions regarding undercover missions, something like that. You get the idea. It bugged out. I couldn't do it. And for some reason it says that it's completed. And I don't know. <laughs> what happens when you roll a buggy game? <laughs> Shit happens. <laughs> if you have a new story for me, I'm very happy to pay your fee. Dear Lord, everyone wants to know about Baron. He's way too... My biggest beef with... Back to... Grind. Alrighty, well, it looks like a good place to stop. Make sure to hit the like button, make sure to the subscribe button. Now you see what I mean by we took that one quest called Divided, and look, it took one hour and 23 minutes just to do that mission. Like I said, mission, some of these missions could be eight minutes, some of them could be 20 minutes, and then, you know, you click on the right one, and it's an hour and 23 minutes or an hour and 30, you never know. Anyways, make sure to like button, make sure to subscribe button. I'll do my best to try to keep the videos short if I can. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. I hope to see you guys view it. And I'll see you guys in the next video.